Good morning, everybody. Our ongoing quest for more knowledge of fractions continues. Get ready for lesson 87. We're talking about using sketches to start understanding how to divide fractions. So way back probably in second or third grade when we first started looking at dividing, like six divided by two, you're really trying to find out how many twos are in six, right? So the RN number, RN6, that's your dividend, the first number, right? The how many number, the how many twos, that's your divisor, the number you're dividing by. And maybe back in the day, you would go and take a look at six circles and how many twos are really in six. There's one group of two. There's another group of two. And then there's another group of two right here, right? So you would have started off finding out that there's three three groups of two in six. But it hasn't been until just now that I think you pointed out that we got to think about this problem a little bit backwards. When you're thinking about it as how many twos are in six, the six is your dividend, the first number. The how many twos, that's your divisor, your second number. So I showed you all that to show you this. They're going to start off today wanting us to do some sketches about learning how to divide fractions. And we'll start off with a pretty basic one right now. How many eighths are in a half? So they would like you to draw out a picture, divide it all into eighths, right? And then we're going to have to go and get just half of it highlighted, right? So if I want to know how many eighths are in half of a whole, now I could just go ahead and count. There's an eighth, there's an eighth, there's an eighth, and there's an eighth, right? How many eighths are in a half? Now that I have it all sketched out, it's pretty easy to see. There are four eighths in a half, right? But that's a little bit confusing, and it doesn't work real well for all problems. So I'm going to start jump-starting you here for the way we're going to continue doing it later on. You can also divide fractions by changing the divide sign into times and invert or write the reciprocal or flip upside down the second fraction. If I was going to go and try to divide by two fourths, I would actually multiply it by four halves. I'm going to go and flip that second fraction upside down. If I had to go and divide by a third, what I'm really trying to do is multiply it by three over one. I would go and take that one third and invert it, flip it upside down. Instead of one over three, I got three over one. Or if I'm trying to divide by three eighths, instead of dividing by threes, I would multiply it and write what's called the reciprocal. Instead of three eighths, I would have eight over three. So I am jump starting you on this. This actually doesn't show up for about another five or seven lessons. But I actually think this method, if you understand the steps, works out better than trying to draw sketches every time. So we already talked about this. How many ace are in a half? So if I'm talking how many ace are in a half, the R in 
is my dividend, my first number if I'm setting it up. So I would start off with a half. The how many, the ace, that's my divisor. I'm trying to divide by one eighth. They are really saying one half divided by one eighth, right? And we actually already know the answer here. The answer is going to be four. But let's see how we'd set it up the other way. We're going to change divide into times. So instead of one half divided by one eighth, I'm changing divide into times. And I'm going to flip or invert the second fraction. Instead of one over eight, I'm going to write them as eight over one, right? Once I have them set up on a basic multiplying problem, then it is just numerator times numerator, one times eight. Hey, that's eight. Denominator times denominator, two times one, that's two. And I can go and write them as a whole number, not leaving them as an improper fraction, because 2 divides into 8 four whole times, right? And that's what we ended up here. How many eighths are in a half? We found out there was four. But sometimes you end up with problems like this that's a little tougher to sketch out. How many one-sixths are in two-thirds? And sometimes kids have a tough time trying to figure out what's two-thirds of this. And that's okay, as long as we know that the R in part of the question, that's the dividend, the number that you're going to write down first. So let's start off two-thirds. I want to know how many one-sixths are in two-thirds. The how many part, that's my divisor. That's my second number. So this really says two-thirds divided by one-sixth. So now that I have them set up correctly, let's go ahead and change divide into times and invert or flip upside down the second fraction. So I'm not going to do anything to the first fraction. The dividend is going to stay the same. Two-thirds stays two-thirds. Change divide into times and invert or write the reciprocal or flip upside down. Instead of 1 over 6, I'm going to write them as 6 over 1. Once I have them all set up like that, now it's just a regular old multiplying problem, right? 2 times 6, hey, that's 12. 3 times 1, hey, that's 3. But I don't want to leave an answer as an improper fraction. 3 divides into 12 four whole times, right? And I guess we could go ahead and take a look here. If I went and had to divide this into thirds, hopefully you know that there's 2 sixths in a third, right? So how many one-sixths are in two-thirds? Well, there's a third because two-sixths equals a third. And there is a third, right? So how many one-sixths are in two-thirds? There's four of them. One, two, three, four. But... I think when it comes time to trying to divide out your shapes, I actually think it's easier if you can remember, change divide into times and invert the second fraction. It's actually easier once you memorize those two steps than trying to divide it all out in a picture. But you know me, I'm not a very good artist. So let's try another one here. How many one-twelfths are in two-thirds? Remember, the R in 
That's the dividend, the first number if I'm setting it up numerically. So I'm going to start off with two-thirds. The how many part of the question, how many, one-twelfths, that's the divisor, the second part. So this really says two-thirds divided by one-twelfth, right? So I have it set up, only two steps to remember. I got to go and change divide into times and invert or flip upside down the second fraction. Only the second fraction. Sometimes kids want to flip everything. But my dividend isn't going to change. If I'm starting with two-thirds, it still is going to be two-thirds. But I'm going to change divide into times. And I'm going to invert my second fraction. Instead of writing them 1 over 12, I'm going to write them 12 over 1, right? Once I have them change divide into times and inverted the second fraction, it's just your basic multiplying problem. 2 times 12, hey, that's got to be 24, right? Go ahead and multiply denominator times denominator. 3 times 1, hey, that's 3. So now I have an improper fraction of 24 thirds. I don't want to leave it as an improper fraction. 3 divides into 24, 8 whole times. So the answer to the question, how many 1 twelfths are in 2 thirds? There's 8. Let's try this one. 2 thirds divided by 2 thirds. Are you catching anything? Or do we have to work this all the way up? Well, maybe you did catch it, maybe you didn't. So let's go ahead and change, divide into times, and invert the second fraction. Instead of 2 over 3, let's go ahead and write them as 3 over 2, right? Numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator, 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 2, hey, that's 6, 6, 6 equals 1. I wasn't sure if you caught it due to the identity property, 2 thirds divided by 2 thirds, any number divided by itself is always going to give you a quotient of 1, right? Wasn't sure if you caught that one or not. Let's do it again. 1 divided by a fifth. Well, write that whole number 1 as a fraction. Invert or flip the second fraction upside down. Instead of 1 over 5, I have 5 over 1. And change divide into times, right? Numerator times numerator. 1 times 5. Hey, that's 5. Denominator times denominator. 1 times 1. That's 1. And instead of leaving it as 5 over 1, that's just a simple old 5, right? 4 divided by 2 thirds. Change divide into times. Flip your second fraction instead of 2 over 3. I want to write it as 3 over 2, right? I'm going to invert or write what's called the reciprocal. And I also have to go and write this whole number 4 as a fraction. So I'm going to give him a denominator of 1. Numerator times numerator, 4 times 3, hey, that's 12. Denominator times denominator, 1 times 2, hey, that's 2. But I don't want to leave the answer as an improper fraction. That's why we've been doing all that work in our mental math quiz. 2 divides into 12, 6 whole times, right? And that, my friends, is the end. So if you can remember 6 divided by 2, they really want to know how many 2's are in 6, right? 
The RN number is the dividend. The how many number is the divisor. You got to remember that when they ask you in the story problems. Okay, good luck on today's Socrative quiz. That's all, folks.